Mr. and Mrs. Ting, the test results came back. It appears as though your baby has a slight chance of developing hemolytic disease of the newborn. Oh no, that sounds awful. What does that mean? Well, HDN is a disease of the newborn that commonly occurs after a woman's first pregnancy. You see, you and your husband are a serodiscordant couple. That means that he expresses an antigen known as Rho D, while you don't. So what's wrong with that? Well, Mrs. Ting, this means that your baby has a chance of expressing that antigen as well. And if he does, it could be slightly problematic depending on the mother's response to the antigen. Oh no! That sounds awful. What does that mean, Doctor? Alright, I'll get straight to the point. During a woman's first pregnancy, if she does not express the rhesus antigen while the baby does, there is a 15% chance that she may produce antibodies against the antigen if she's exposed to the fetus's blood. This antigen is present on the red blood cells of the fetus. During subsequent pregnancies, the mother carries the anti-rhesus IgG in her serum. In this second pregnancy, the IgG is able to cross the placenta barrier and circulate within the fetus. If the mother produces IgG in high enough concentrations, then it will cause the destruction of the fetus's red blood cells and may result in stillbirth. To make a long story short, Mrs. Ting, we have received the test results and it appears as though you fit all of the characteristics. This is the worst pregnancy ever! If this was 50 years ago, it probably would have been. Back then, 10% of all perinatal deaths were due to rhesus disease. Luckily for you, there's a widely used treatment available. It's called Rho D immunoglobulin, and here's how it works. I'm a D negative mom, but my hubby has D. Gonna make healthy babies, don't wanna make anti D. Got Rho IG, at seven months just had to decide. Feeling so one united, it's the best pregnancy ever. Don't know exactly why giving mom and TDs Protects babies from hemolysis since the 1960s Maybe down regulating B cells before immunity Or rapid macrophage clearance of anti-D coated these RBCs it's the best pregnancy ever for how Rho D works is via the spleen. One of the spleen's roles is actually clearance of apoptotic or old red blood cells. It usually takes about 120 days for RBCs to become old or senescent, <laughs> at which time IgG autoantibodies bind to the RBC surface. Then during their subsequent circulation through the red pulp of the spleen, macrophages are able to phagocytose them before the mother is able to mount an immune response. <laughs> Rhodes on red cells, so fetal mom leave. Or D transfusion cause mom to make IgGs. Maternal IgGs cross the placenta and will opsonize. Baby's red cells got to the spleen and get the josa dive. But it's the best pregnancy ever. Gam is polyclonal IgG and TD. Exactly how it works, we don't yet see. Could even like a pattern FC regions on IgGs, inhibiting D specific dendritic mutation in new complex and cell immunity. 
how direct cellular inhibition works. Receptors like FC gamma, BCR, and TCR have ITAM and ITIMS, which are tyrosine-based activation and inhibition motifs. Uh, when D-positive fetus RBCs goes into the mother, NTD IgG will bind to it and activate inhibitory FC receptors on B cells. Co-cross-linked BCR and cell-bound IgG and antigen will localize receptors to the lipid rafts. Uh, ultimately, this will initiate an intracellular cascade that will suppress B cell activation, proliferation, and antibody synthesis. Receptors on as against T's and B's have activation and blocking motifs. Balance of these tunes our immune system. We don't want to activate B cells. It's the, the best pregnancy ever. It's the best pregnancy ever. And to deep boundaries is positive RBCs. Activates FC on RBC body. BCRs will bind resist these blocking cascade will initiate It's the best It's the best pregnancy Well, maybe this isn't the worst pregnancy after all. No. It's the best pregnancy ever. <laughs>